Jerry, we got a little surprise for you. Put Is it your, me? Hey, it's not you. Oh. Put your hands together for the former director of security for the Jerry Springer Show. Yes, now a famous oh. show. <laughs> Excited to see you. Steve, could you refresh our memories? How did you and Jerry meet and start working together? Well, I got hired to work uh, security on the show for one day. And, uh, you know, so I, I thought I would just be there and be gone. But then I was being hired to do more and more shows. And, you know, Jerry came up to me and started talking to me one day. I was just sitting outside his office. And uh, we both really love baseball. And we started talking about baseball. And, um, the next thing you know, like when Jerry really started, uh, you know, becoming huge, he didn't want to travel by himself and he asked me to travel with him. Aww. And then, you know, you spend that much time together on the road and you spend a lot of time together. We became very close. Aww. Yeah. That, and he's telling the absolute truth. We just, you know, he's one of the people I trust most in life. I wow. mean, he's just a great guy. That he's a great guy. Volumes. And he met uh, his wife on our show. And she then became Rochelle, and then she became our executive producer oh, wow. for until almost the end of the show. Wow. And uh, she took Bert's spot. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, that was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> there was a transition period. <laughs> no. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, they're just wonderful people. I don't get to see him live much, even mm. though we kept talking about how possibly we... But he always uh, razzes me on, on the Yankees because he's a Cubs fan, but... Yeah, but I, I like professional baseball. So, uh, so, uh, uh -oh. No, I love uh, it. That's a real fan. Yeah, now, he's just a great guy. Steve, I'm going to ask you probably the hardest question ever. I'm going to need you to lock down just one crazy moment oh, from the hard. show. What was the craziest moment that, you, in your mind, on the show? Careful. Oh my God. <laughs> you, you know the craziest moment. That's uh, you know it's so hard to answer, but. Uh, I, I just remember like when the show was just going really, really crazy. We had um, we had a guy that was involved in the fight and he he wouldn't get up. And we used to, you know, get the guests up when they were down and be like, get up, get up. And he goes, I can't. My legs broke. And we're like, oh, you know, you're crazy. Your legs not broke. And then he peeled back his jean and his leg was sticking out to his no. uh, the bone was sticking out to his skin. Oh. Oh. So he's out. Story, <laughs> Why don't I remember that? <laughs> we, really? we got you in the dark, Jerry. You we got did. you in the dark. No one didn't tell me anything. <laughs> That's good. That's security. probably for discreet. Yeah. Absolutely. Possible Absolutely. deniability. Wow. That's right. Yeah. So and Steve, where, well, what about this fighting? Were there was there fighting on this <laughs> show? I never saw. It. <laughs> never. So uh -oh. this is a kind of a surreal moment because I grew up in Chicago. Yeah. Seeing you guys being right. on the show with you guys, it's crazy. You look great, by the way, Steve. You were a Chicago Thank cop. You. I remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you were yeah. also working yeah. security for Jerry. I always had this question as a kid. Did you get recognized like you pulled people over for speed and you're like, wait a second, are you Steve <laughs> from Jerry Springer? <laughs> you know, that's exactly what happened. And it made my job so much easier because uh, I pulled people over. They weren't mad that they were going to get a ticket or uh, but, and, but if you were a fan of mine, you weren't going to get a ticket, so <laughs> that helped you out. Uh, you know, but I would, yeah. go, I would go to domestic disturbances, and people were fighting and ripping up their house, yeah. and we'd walk in, and they're like, you know, what are you doing here? And I'm like, I'm a police officer. They're like, you work on Jerry Springer. And then they'd start asking me, oh, is Jerry a nice guy? And, you know, they forget about why they call the police. <laughs> How great. surreal. Unbelievable. And, Steve, you know, we when we kicked off today's season six, we asked Jerry, like, advice for us all. What was the best advice that Jerry gave you that has stuck with you to this day? Well, it's true. It's, it's really simple, but he really did tell me, uh, be yourself when you do your show. He was like, you know, when you go into that, be yourself. And it's true because the first season I was produced in a way where I wasn't myself. Mm. And then when my wife took over, she really said, you know what, you just be you, just do what you, you know, your gut tells you. And that's when the show really became good. And uh, so, you know, the advice that Jerry gave me, which I really couldn't take that first season, uh, was really good advice. And I think people at home with any talk show host, if you're being yourself, they're going to like you. If you're, they can tell when people are being phony mm. or 
trying to be something that they're not. Mm -hmm. I always say you can smell it through the TV when they're not real friends. Yeah. But we're real friends, yeah. right? Right? Yeah, well, <laughs> right? The, the two at the end. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know about those two. It's a clear know. divide. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're passing me notes. <laughs> Did, did you see what she's wearing? <laughs> Look, LARP. Um, the Jerry Springer show really kicked off your career in TV. So is there something you'd actually love to say to Jerry? Just you have the floor, sir. Well, I've always said uh, I couldn't meet a guy that was more generous, uh, more caring towards me. Uh, the guy never, never mistreated anybody. Uh, I said, you know, because of Jerry, I... Don't have to push the squad car around anymore. I met my wife, I have my children, and I live a very, very nice life, and I owe almost all of it to Jerry. That's so wow. nice. Wow. wow. Lovely, Jerry. Jerry. That's nice, Steve. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, I'm so happy moment. that you get to be a okay, part of the, this. The, Unbelievable. The check's in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Make it rain, baby. Steve, congratulations on all your success. Aww. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us, to see your dear friend. Don't forget to check your local listings to watch the next exciting season of the Steve Vocal Show. We'll be right back. That was Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, really Steve. Nice. Thank you. Thank you.